Hi, my name is Joe Jack. I'm here at Allen & Heath, and today I'm going to be showing you the Zone 4D. Um, a lot of DJs around the world have been asking me what's so great about the 4D, why should they be picking up the 4D, uh, and, and some people are very scared by the 4D. I'm going to give you a very quick basic overview of the Zone 4D. If you have more technical questions, if you're looking for videos that go into greater detail of some features, check out the other Zone videos on the page. They offer a lot more in-depth info on this. But if you're just starting out and you're thinking this might be the piece for you, well, let me help explain why this is the perfect piece for you. The Zone 4D has a 20 channel sound card built into the actual mixer. It offers 10 in and 10 out. The sound card inputs are also configurable with buttons. And they're all, they're smaller buttons here in the center. And again, if you want a better understanding of that, check out some of the other videos to see exactly how flexible those are. Um, on the MIDI section, there's 225 different parameters that can be assigned to this, to the mixer, I'm sorry, to the MIDI section of the 4D um, across two different levels. In addition to that, there is a BPM analysis MIDI clock section up here where if I get some audio playing, you can either tap it in or it can be set to auto where whatever's playing into it, it'll automatically detect and then it will send MIDI clock out to any and every other device, forcing it to play at that BPM. Um, as most Allen Heath fans are aware, the filter section is definitely um, a very desirable feature found on the Zone 92 as well as a bunch of other Zone mixers. Um, of course, the filters are in here as well as an LFO. The LFO is a very cool feature also found on this mixer and um, if you're not familiar with that and you have the opportunity to play with this, it, it does some pretty cool features. Um, going down each section of the MIDI controller, you have your encoders at the top, you have rotary pots beneath them to control the effects, four sliders, four faders on each side which will allow you to control volume or filter effects or whatever you want it to do. You have uh, uh, three rows of four buttons across each, your jog wheel with four different positions, you can assign this to do different things, and Tractor Pro, um, I like to be able to increase or decrease the view of the actual player from left to right and up and down allows me to load the track to either the left deck or the right deck. You have four light pipe buttons on the bottom which will allow you to start and stop as well as uses a shift feature for other features found uh, in whichever program you're using. Has incredibly loud headphone output which is important. Uh, a lot of other mixers with MIDI controllers uh, have headphone outputs, but they're not nearly as loud as the 4D. So if you're a pro, you're looking to travel, to tour, you need extremely loud headphones, the 4D is definitely the unit for you. Um, of course, it has a mic input, XLR balanced outputs, it has all the pro features, which you can find in the user guides online, you can find them um, in other videos we have posted in this section. But um, it's, it's really, if you're looking to get into the digital world and you want to start using software such as Ableton Live, Tractor Pro, there's a ton of other DJ programs, and you want to have an all-in-one unit that really allows you to be super creative, the Zone 4D is definitely the piece for you. So I hope I was, I hope I was able to answer uh, some of your questions about the Zone 4D. Uh, if you have any other questions, please check out the other videos as well as checking out the user guide. The user guide will answer pretty much any and all of your questions you have. My name's Joe Jack, and I'm here at Allen & Heath. Thank you very much.